What is SpareX protocol? In today's video, we'll be doing a deep dive into the mechanics and thesis behind Arbitrum SpareX protocol. We'll cover exactly how their stablecoin works, what sort of supplementary features it offers, and what problems it solves in the ecosystem. Without further ado, let's get into SpareX. So what exactly does SpareX protocol do? Sparex Protocol has built a CDP stablecoin on the Arbitrum network that aims to solve a few of the problems faced by other stablecoins in the space. Sparex's USDS attempts to have the scalability of centralized stables like USDC and USDT while maintaining the decentralized nature of stables like MakerDAO's DAI. It also includes an automated yield generation mechanic which ensures that usage positions slowly grow over time with the help of yield farming. Before we continue, let's backtrack and establish some key pieces of information that are important. For users who are new to stablecoins, a CDP stablecoin or collateralized debt position stablecoin works by allowing users to mint stables based on the value of a collateral which they lock up. The most famous case of this is MakerDAO's DAI, which requires a collateralization of 150% on all DAI minted. If the value of collateral begins to drop and the collateral to debt ratio begins to drop, MakerDAO has a safety mechanism to ensure DAI doesn't become under collateralized. If the collateral to debt ratio breaches their predetermined liquidation ratio, Maker will automatically liquidate the collateral in order to ensure that DAI does not become under collateralized. In this way, CDP stablecoins ensure that they are constantly over collateralized, giving them an additional layer of security. With the collateral that users deposit into the Sparex protocol, Sparex smart contracts are able to use that collateral to farm yield on other audited decentralized protocols and slowly earn a profit for all USDS holders. Some of these protocols include Aave, Curve, Frax, and more. Using an interesting design mechanism in their smart contracts, Sparex is able to incrementally increase users' USDS positions through this yield farming without users ever needing to spend gas to claim their rewards. More information about how exactly this mechanism works can be found in their docs. Two things worth noting is that only 50% of the yield farming being done with users' collateral will go towards this auto-yield mechanism, and wallets who are staking on the protocol will not be eligible to earn auto-yield on their USDS. Okay, so what about minting and redeeming? Minting USDS can be done by locking up eligible collateral on the protocol. The list of currently eligible collateral is made up of USDC, DAI, FRAX, and VST. Users who mint new USDS will not have to pay fees for doing so, and the protocol will only treat their collateral as eligible as long as it is at or above market price of $1. This ensures that USDS is always collateralized or over collateralized. Redeeming from the protocol will always give users back $1 in collateral after deducting the redemption fee. In case of the aggregate collateral ratio of USDS dropping and USDS becoming under collateralized, Sparex will mint SPOD tokens which will be given to users wanting to redeem. This ensures that users can always expect $1 worth of collateral when redeeming, regardless of market conditions. So how can users ensure that USDS will always remain pegged? There are two main mechanisms that ensure that USDS will maintain its peg. First off, if USDS is trading above peg, users can mint new USDS for $1 worth of collateral, then sell that USDS at a profit relative to the collateral they deposited. This token supply inflation will naturally bring the price down, repegging the asset. If USDS is trading below its peg, users can redeem USDS for $1 of collateral, in turn burning the supply and slowly bringing the price back to peg. Next, let's cover how Sparex's tokenomics work. Sparex uses their SPA token to accomplish a few different functions on the protocol. As we mentioned before, one of these functions is to compensate users redeeming their USDS with SPA tokens in case USDS becomes under collateralized. The SPA token is also used as a liquidity farming incentive and is the key to unlocking governance for the Sparex protocol. By locking up SPA tokens for VE SPA or Vote Escrow SPA, users will be able to vote on governance proposals that alter elements of the protocol. Currently, governance is done off-chain and users who want to come up with new governance proposals can do so through the Sparex Discord. 
When a governance proposal is established and voting must take place, a governance proposal will only pass if at least 200 million vote escrow SPA vote on the proposal and more than 50% of the votes are in favor. Information regarding SPA tokens in circulation, market cap, unique wallets holding SPA, and more can be found on their analytics page. This page also contains important information about USDS, as well as overall protocol statistics. It also contains information about the total value locked of SPA tokens, the current index of collateral for SPA, and even historical data about USDS going back to 2021. Overall, this page is extremely useful for learning anything you need to know regarding their tokenomics. Okay, cool. So what else does Sparex have to offer? Sparex also offers users their Demeter protocol, which is intended to be used by DAOs who want to manage decentralized exchange liquidity without needing to know how to code. Using this protocol, DAOs will be able to immediately set up audited pool and farm contracts. By pairing their native tokens with USDS or SPA, DAOs will also be eligible to earn a portion of SPA yield incentives. They will also get a special place on the Sparex pool's dashboard, which can help with marketing in the community. That's not it though. Sparex also recently launched their SPA Gauge product, which is a new tool for Arbitrum projects to execute fair token launches and acquire deep on-chain liquidity. The SPA Gauge is a new reward mechanism that emits SPA rewards for USDS trading pairs. VE SPA holders will be able to govern how fee emissions to those pools are distributed and choose which ones are more or less incentivized. Users wanting to influence the way rewards are distributed will also have the ability to bribe VE SPA holders into deciding which pools they allocate votes. This is like the classic bribing mechanism also seen on Curve. New users who want to take advantage of the Gauge product can do so through creating their own USDS trading pairs or by voting on it through a governance proposal. Overall, this protocol seems to be making big strides towards providing the Arbitrum ecosystem with a quality decentralized stablecoin. As demand for Arbitrum protocols increases and the demand for decentralized tools in the ecosystem grows, I'll be interested to see what sort of impact Sparex will leave on the Arbitrum network. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe as it greatly helps this channel and its content. If you have any protocol suggestions that you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get to them. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there, Anons.